You know, these days the Lord is putting me to speak about uh, charismatic church. You know, you know, charismatic churches, you know, these churches that uh, are so much uh, happy churches where there's a lot of gospel music and fun in them. You know, this, I can say, I call them the grandchildren of the Pentecostal church. When the Pentecostal church uh, backslid and, and became an organization, uh, when it joined the big boys uh, of the mainline churches, because the Pentecostal church um, had its revival in the days of uh, uh, William Simon, the Azusa Street revival that started in the United States of America in 1906 till 1914. That's where churches like Assembles of God, which was a general assembly by then, they organized in 1914 and they make an organization of that movement and um, also the movement of uh, the great John G. Lake. It, it, it ended up being a movement, an, an organization as well. When those uh, Pentecostal movements dried up, um, then, then they came about the freelancers, which were didn't want to submit into the dead Pentecostal denominations and they sought for anointing as evangelist or as, as, as a free uh, ministries and uh, the likes of uh, Taylor's Bonds and and, uh, and all those people that, that became like Oral Roberts and all those people, A.A. Allen's and when that happened, when when those people they they spearheaded the this this what we have it, it this what we have today they made a lot of emphasis on the anointing and on deliverance uh, they tried as much to run from anything organizing them or structuring them in any way because they were running from being imprisoned by this excellent uh, Pentecostals they started the charismatic movement then. Then the devil, well, well, because when they emphasize the anointing, they emphasize it more than the word itself. And then they, the devil got it, his face in their hand. He, he just populated it, he let it. They went all the way to TV programs and, and they took the Hollywood, Hollywood kind of style of, of uh, organizing. They didn't become like structured, organized, um, uh churches like pentecostals became but they became so well like 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 businesses can be they started to change their style of of preaching to be like some kind of marketing strategy and the devil really capitalized on them and 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 produced what we have today a very excited bunch of people um that are so much anointed when they sing and 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 sometimes the gifts are very powerful but the devil is so intense in those churches into a level that, um, my goodness, if you descend by the word, you, you just, maybe it's one in a million a person who can make it to heaven, let alone rapture in them. Because of the level they, they have accumulated into of denying the word of God, the basic word of God, they deny it. And if you're in those churches, you know, the, there's nobody uh, so-called uh, um, popular churches which are producing a lot of gospel singers and 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 they they they, they flock into concerts and, and and they produce a lot of motivational gospel people and you come in this church you can fellowship in that church for 10 years you never be told to be baptized you can go to the church like you're going to a mall uh, you just visit and go and nobody bother you as long as you give the money somehow. If you do comment, uh, uh, I had a friend who was in a charismatic church for 10 years. He still had his, his long dreadlocks. He still smoked. He still he still changed girlfriends like socks. And, and he still went to clubbing for 10 years. Going to a church that invites big preachers. It invites uh, the likes of Benny Hines, the likes of... Uh, all those big preachers who come and release anointing, but the people in there spend 10 years still dating, doing sex and doing all those things. And yet, 
a charismatic church will give you an impression as if there's something bigger than just to be taught by the word you know they have that kind of stance as if there's a big god out there who can who can do good to you greater than just what the scripture tells you if you're in a cracked church like that i know you just studied your route to hell i i know the quickest way to go to hell is the charismatic church because it gives you that excitement that you don't have to be condemned you don't have to be corrected you don't have to feel any kind of judgment any convention it's got that uh, some kind of a defense mechanism uh, consciously consciously speaking against anything that attacks the soul and 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 they want just you to tell them like that that god is with them they are right with god um uh, you find that in the churches you spend years you never you, you never even be preached to holiness you never been convicted of sanctification you never even uh, know the basics of the doctrine of the apostles you know you just get there and be there and and um god has put this in my heart that i must uh really drill it into the, ch uh, the children of god that 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 they should flee these charismatic churches they should flee with all like the bible say flee youthful lust you know charismatic churches is a bunch of uh um disorganized devil uh populated uh demon infected youthful lust society they nothing god in those places that's just like a religious uh pentecostal night club or something like that it's the same it's like you're watching a movie or it's, a, it's, a, it's a, or some kind of a, it's a Hollywood platform of the devil to insult Christ. It's, it's, it's to be in a charismatic church. And the devil is sponsoring those preachers, which all what they seek is anointing. All what, look at what everybody has today, or some, some preacher who just raises hands and people fall down and never tell them anything after that. The whole concern is about deliverance, 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 and make a profit of this man and what and make a millionaire of him and, and end up to die. You never tell how to dress, you never tell how to leave, you never tell you anything. You just tell you there's a God who does everything. My goodness, the apostles who who experienced the Holy Ghost coming upon them. Uh, like and the the the, the, t the tongues of fire been witness on all them and 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 they came out of there and people asked them if they were drunk and peter had to take all that experience and took it back to joel too you know he had to take it back to the word of god that they are not drunk as you suppose you know when people become spiritual and become so much crazy you know like like like, like they can do anything spiritual they become spiritualists they just become uh, uh, uh like uh things like more uh, mediums they they, they 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 have to bring it back satan can infiltrate anything that's spiritual and he doesn't fear the only thing satan fears is the word of god like as you 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 you, you experience uh, if you read the bible matthew 4 you find that and the devil tried to trick the jesus into doing some some things and promising to give him the world and his glory and jesus said it's written and every time the devil comes he said it's written and now we know when he was a source of all power he was a source of all gifts but he, 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 when he face to face with the devil, he used only the word. But the charismatic church is the word is just a reference book for economical establishment, for motivational empowerment. It's just a reference book that a bishop so-called has to know it more than anybody else and, and sniff it and, 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 and say things that are not so much harmful to this happy faces that are there that are paying him these millions and he has to give them this so that they don't leave this church and go and join another charismatic church and now there are so many they are different and they come in different styles uh, how to see a charismatic church charismatic church is where women wear pants they put on makeup they, they put on these long nails some kind of clowns and uh, they, they they extend their eyebrows and and they come there so nude like they are going to a club or they go or, or, or they are going to some 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 lady gaga concert of some sort they go there and you find some rock and roll some kind of a gospel played in there where you it's something like it's a rock and roll where the band has got people wearing some 
uh, dirty jeans of some sort that you don't know, or nails darkened, and all. you don't know what is this in, in, in the stages with the lights and smoke and all that. Same thing that, you know, I mean, in, in just a few years ago, this thing was, was you witnessed it in the most demonic uh, 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 groups of, of rock and roll. Today it's in the church, you know, through charismatic church. Nobody even cares and nobody even questions it. God is there too. So you, 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 churches like that were sin uh, is never preached against. You know, preacher might just brush on it. And you, you, lately uh, they even have gays and lesbian in there. And, and, um, and, and uh, we, we don't say gays and lesbian must not be in church. Like a drunkard must be in church. You, you, how are you going to be saved? But they never get addressed. They never, they never get told that they are demon possessed and they need help and they need deliverance and they should come and be prayed for like anybody else who's who's, who's got lust or anything. The, if the charismatic church don't put any emphasis on the eternal goals of the gospel, put no emphasis at all, no emphasis at all on the convictions, on on the on the on the on the stages and progresses from being born again, from being convicted, from to 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 being convicted, to being uh, 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 um, repented, to being uh, 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 the next step after you repented, to to being uh, you mean the justified process, and then you are sanctified, you are cleansed after repentance. You are ashamed of your sins, and you go exactly to depart from all what you did because this experience, and you go to to where you are filled with the Spirit of God and. And you are filled with anointing the next stage, then you go to a place where you are. You receive the word of God. You have to receive the entire word of God. And 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 then after that, when you accept the entire word of God, then you go to, to this place where you receive now the seal of the Holy Spirit. They don't get taught all of that, they know nothing about anything. In fact, they're the most uh, the, uh, ignorant scripturally ignorant religious group you have in the world they are full on facebooks and all those tweeters and 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 you'll find them trying to spit their garbage on on youtube as well they everybody speaks there that's their sign you'll find them trying to produce ministries um of youth and things like that things that's just wandering around not hooked up anywhere so if you if you just find yourself in the church you can never be spiritual more than the church you fellowship in. If you're in a charismatic church and you, you are following this rich so-called bishop of yours and who's not telling you anything about hell, even hell is the most important sermon because that's where most people are going every day, every second. Statistics say it's around two souls enter hell uh, I mean, die in every second. Two souls die in every second. In every two seconds, a soul dies, something like that. And now, how many go to heaven? You know, we, we know that few. And so my brother or sister, flee charismatic church. Get far away. Seek God. Flee, 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 flee charismatic church. I don't say go to any church, but you had to find God. Charismatic church is as lost as ever. And lately, they have their gospel... Uh, I've seen one of the famous gospel lady, some kind of a duet with uh, 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 this. Um, I forgot this 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 this, this, this woman. Uh, uh, there's some Hollywood girl in there. They have tattoos all over the place. Uh, and if you are in these churches, they are going to hell slowly. Depart. You don't don't ask for permission from your husband or your wife or from your pastor. Just leave. The charismatic church with all its gospel music with all its Donnie mcclair kings and all with tasha cops and all those so-called anointed people sing so nice leave charismatic churches it will save you from hell god bless you